to the Big Ten. Third-ranked Ohio State playing host to Rutgers on homecoming. First quarter, tied at seven. Buckeyes at the goal line. Mayan Williams bowls over the defender for his second score of the day, 14-7. Rutgers playing deliberately on offense. Later in the first, Evan Simon forced to scramble. Buckeyes coverage. Zach Harrison pokes it free. Michael Hall Jr. recovers Buckeyes ball. Ensuing drive in the second quarter. C.J. Stroud down the field. Julian Fleming, 36-yard score. Stroud, 13-22, 154 yards right before the half. Buckeyes turn the frown upside down. From the one, Williams again. OSU takes a 28-7 lead into halftime. Third quarter after a Rutgers field goal. Buckeyes go back to Williams. This TD run a little longer than the previous ones. 70-yard sprint. OSU rolls to a 49-10 victory. Defense holds Rutgers to just 1 of 11 on third down. Mark Coons has more from a historic day on the banks of the Olentangy. On a day in which Ohio State celebrated the 100th anniversary of Ohio Stadium, it was Mayan Williams writing his name into the Buckeye record book. Before today, only Pete Johnson and Keith Byers had ever rushed for five touchdowns in a game. Williams matched that with his 189-yard performance on 21 carries and those five scores. Now, Williams didn't know he would be starting until just before the game. Travion Henderson was a scratch after re-aggravating the injury that he suffered during the early going of the Toledo contest. But without Henderson, Williams made sure he had his running back mates back. I just told him, like, I looked him in his eyes, like, I told Trey, like, I got you. I got you today. And, um, I mean, it's a blessing just to be, like, just up there with them names. Like those are legends here, so yeah, it's definitely a blessing. I just think overall, the tight ends, the wide receivers, everybody's involved with this run game, but uh, Mayan was running hard today and, and finished a bunch of runs in positive. You know, he, he turns a three-yard run into five, keeps us on schedule, and um, you know, and it was tough down there in the red zone. I mean, they, they kind of dug in a few times. We had to go for it on the fourth down, and um, but, but Mayan had a really good day for us. I never would have thought, <laughs> I never would have thought I would have had a game like this. And the Buckeyes were forced to rely on the Cincinnati native because Rutgers slowed everything down as Ohio State's offense at times looked downright clunky. So now we just got to be smart with our drives, and we only didn't score on one drive. So if you look at that, that's a really efficient day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I definitely think that we'll continue to get better. I mean, that's at the end of the day. When you look at games like this, like, what can you learn from? You can always learn from something in the game. You know, still, you know, 49 to 10, still have a heck of a day. But um, in those type of games, you know, you have to be you're proud of the win, you know, and it. Uh, it's hard to get style points when you're playing in that style of a game. And, uh, and our guys know that it's important to make sure that we win, and we have to win different ways. Next up for the Buckeyes, the first road trip of the season as they head to East Lansing next Saturday. Spartans losing today, so they're now just 2-3, and three, while Ohio State remains undefeated. In Columbus, Mark Kutz, BCSN.